This is Reggie with A Team Appliance, and I have a Kenmore washer here, Kenmore 80 series washer that I got on trade. Um, so what that means is I sold a customer a wash machine and I, I supply free haul away of your old broken machine uh, when you buy one from me. So um, first thing you want to do is when you check these things out, I tipped it underneath, and, you know, looked around, everything looked at, looked at decent. Um, check your settings too. So, because this tells you what the last setting was on when a customer decided to punt the machine. So it was on spin, so most likely it's a um, lid switch or a coupler issue, but let's turn it on and see what happens. Yep. So that noise is a, is a motor coupler. Um, always check the, all right, so it needs agitator dogs too. So a dog, so this, this, is supposed to, this is not supposed to spin independently both ways only one way so the uh, was go by itself and then the whole thing is supposed to turn so that that's easy that is like a 99 cent part um but let's listen again that is the sound of a motor coupler so i'm gonna take her apart and show you guys hang on all right guys so i got the cabinet off i, I will include a video uh in this um a link <laughs> to my video on how to take these apart this video is just uh this quick sh for my flippers out there just showing guys who are aspiring to flip washers and dryers uh some of the, the action that we see um these front these direct drives are pretty simple most of the time even simpler when you have your own parts because that way you kind of try stuff so all right taking off I got one hand. I can't know. I'm not just trying to take stuff off. All right, I'm going to set this back here. And I'll show you guys the coupler. Ag so I'm going to add a video of the agitator dogs taking those off. Uh, I'm sure I got a video of that and this coupler repair. And don't forget to like and subscribe, man. This keeps the, me motivated to do these. <laughs> I enjoy helping people. But uh, this actually gives me a little, you know, a little extra to, to keep going. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you get notifications too. And, you know, it's just good for people to, us to share our knowledge. It's our best version of having coworkers right now, right? All right. So. There's the culprit. The thing's full of grease. It's probably because at some point this thing might have been tipped on the side and the grease out of the transmission might have leaked out. So, oh yeah, there you go. See that split? So that shaft was just spinning in there and that thing was just, it's just it's gone. So, and I'm actually going to upgrade it. They have uh, the upgraded motor coupler. This is a motor coupler, but they have one with a metal insert. Uh, which is a lot stronger. Um, the plastic ones are good though, because they you, know, you want them to break, because that means it's overloaded or something, and you want it to uh, to break. That way, you want to wear out your motor. But uh, yep, yeah, that's it. So just gonna replace the motor coupler and the agitator dogs. I got the. No, it's not in there. Let's go over here. Yeah, so it needs need some dogs. There's none in it. Look, there's none. They just disintegrated in there. Again, this is Reggie with A Team Appliance. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll put links below how to take these apart. Uh, Kenmore washer, got it for uh, for nothing basically. Um, it was a trade trade in, and I probably sell that for about two hundred dollars plus delivery charge. Um, keeps the gravy train going. All right, this is Reggie A Team Appliance.